Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 4. I want to say I've played just about every Budokai Tenkaichi game. Own, well, I don't own Tenkaichi Tag Team, but all the other ones I got, including the Rage and Blast series, yes, that's that's a, those are Tenkaichi games. And that includes Ultimate Tenkaichi. That is also a Tenkaichi game. As much of a difference that game turned out to be compared to the others, yes, it was made by the same developer. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking when they made that, but oh well, it is what it is. But now we're here. We're here, and uh, it exists. There's a teaser right here. They dropped this at the Dragon Ball Battle Hour yesterday. That's what it's called, right? The Dragon Dragon Ball Battle Hour. All right. I'm not. Maybe I, it says teaser, so maybe I should keep my expectations low. Oh, oh shit! Fifty four seconds. I'll give them props for using that TV. They could have been, like, super inaccurate and just picked the old-ass TV just because it's an old-ass game, but they picked, like, a 2007 TV. So I'll give them fucking props. All right. It's not a lot you could get in 54 seconds, man. It's not a lot you could get in 54 seconds. But I'm going to, uh, I don't know. Stay optimistic, I guess. I'm expecting big things from this. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. It's a teaser. Fuck it. All right. Let's see what they got. All right. Let's see what they got. The anticipation is killing me. Dragon Ball Z, Ten Kaichi Four. Let's get this money. First official trailer. PS Five. Oh, so it's the next gen exclusive. That's a good sign. All right. Let's see. Let's go. Wait, let me raise that volume real quick. Let me raise that volume real quick. Alright, that's enough. This is so fucking nostalgic already. <laughs> These models. Alright. Oh, yup. This was the shit, man. Beam struggles. The game didn't sound that fucking old though. I don't know why they got it so filtered. Dragon Balls is sparking. That's what it was called in Japan. In fact, it's not a Buddha guy game at all. Hold on! Oh my god! From Super Broly! Get ready for wait, is this way? What's the quality of this? This is Dookie. 720, yo, my dick. Let's keep going. It doesn't look bad. Oh. A new sparking begins. Alright. This is pretty much Tenkaichi. That's what it's called in Japan, sparking. So. I gotta see that comparison again. That was too much for me. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting that. They caught me off guard. Look at the fucking aura effects. Wait a minute! Oh my god! We all hype up. We gotta remember who's making this game, though. I was looking at the grass. And I know it's weird, but I was looking at the grass. And I just remember who's making this game. I don't know. The formula's already there. There's no way they could fuck this up, right? <laughs> I was looking at the grass, and I was like, hold on. Why does, like, the aura effects on that grass remind me of something? <laughs> and it just came to me that the graphics are... Way better than those, alright? I'll tell you what I'm talking about in a second, but... Alright. This shot is just so cold. That transition is just so cold. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, boy. They extended the shit. Are the transformations gonna be that long? I'm not gonna mind. You guys have transformed during the intros. If you, like, select Goku in the blue form and not transform, that should be, like, their intros instead of them just starting off already in a form. Alright, so fucking... Ah! Oh, so much to go through. So yeah, uh, this game is made by Spike Chunsoft, the creators of Jump Force, if you will. Now, the thing is, like, this is a game, like, this, this is a game that already has a formula. All they have to do is do what they did back then, give us extra content, you know, give us extra shit. 
Honestly, I don't know how they fucked up Jump Force. I don't see Spike Chunsoft's name here, but Spike Chunsoft is the one that created uh, the Tenkaichi series and the Raging Blast series, and they were good. They were good games, so we know they're capable of making good fighting anime games, right? They just haven't been doing that with their last, with their previous two games, which was uh, Jump Force and One Punch Man. See, after Jump Force, right, when I heard that One Punch Man wasn't that good, I didn't even bother picking that shit up. I didn't. Because there was no point in doing so. Why would I do that? If I know the game is going to be bad, why would I waste my money? And I think that's what Spike chunks off, uh, I think that's when anime games in general started to realize that they just can't drop shit anymore. Back in the day, they could drop a shitty anime game and anyone would pick that shit up. Anyone would buy it, right? But I want to say, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter sort of spoiled everyone. To the point where when other anime fucking game developers did drop shit, it just wasn't being accepted like it was back in the day. People weren't blindly throwing their money, especially with that Jump Force shit. That was just disgusting. At that point, we weren't being fooled anymore. And I gotta give kudos to the fans for that. Like, speak with your wallets, alright? I think they're gonna go hard. I don't think this is just Bandai and Namco. This is Spike Chunsoft's pride on the line too, because Spike Chunsoft, like, this is the test to see if y'all motherfuckers still got it, all right? This is, this is the test to see if you guys are still capable of making a good anime game. Because you've done it in the past, all right? This this has to be a return to form. Because if you motherfuckers are going to make another jump game, it needs to look like this shit, all right? This is already a good start. I'm optimistic as fuck. Holy shit. I, I don't know what else to say. We haven't seen any gameplay. I'm optimistic. It looks good so far. It's still in development. All right? Let me see that blue Goku again. The close-ups are just... Ugh. But I want to see the whole character model, though. Because I think it, it might be able to... Uh, could use some polishing here and there. Let me see. Like, the zoom-in is good, though. Look at the facial animation. That's better than they ever had before. That shit looks crazy. When was the last time Spike Chunsoft went this hard? I mean, the Rage of Blast 1 was probably their best looking game of all time in terms of graphics. Rage, no, oh, it depends. Ultimate Tech Kaiji was a bad game, but let's admit though, those graphics weren't bad, all right? Um, so for me, it's in between Rage and Blast 1 and Ultimate Tech Kaiji. Probably gonna have to give the edge to uh, Rage and Blast 1. Because it looks more like Dragon Ball, period. I mean, Ultimate Tenkaichi wasn't bad, but it was just... It, Raging Blast 1 was just more true to Dragon Ball. I didn't like Raging Blast 2's graphics. I think they were really weird. Really weird looking. They looked they looked like they were made out of rubber. All the characters were made out of rubber. It was, it was some weird shit. But this looks like an evolution of anything this developer's ever done in the past. Quite frankly, uh, I want to see more. Dragon Ball games are in a pretty decent spot, I want to say. Um, the last bad Dragon Ball game we got was Battle of Z. Battle of Z was the last bad Dragon Ball game. Xenoverse pretty much picked up slack, and it went up from there. After Xenoverse 1, we had Xenoverse 2. After Xenoverse 2, we had some side games like Dragon Ball Fusion and shit. But Fighters was like the next big thing, and that was just a solid ass. I always wanted Dragon Ball Fighters, by the way. Uh, since I was young, I didn't know it was gonna look like that. I thought, you know, the Dragon Ball Fighters in my mind when I was young was sprites, you know, looking like Marvel too. But this is way better than I ever could have ever imagined. You know, Dragon Ball Fighters, and uh, despite what people say about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, it was not a perfect game, but that's not a bad game. It's a pretty good Dragon Ball game. A lot of people dropped the game when they first got it. Here's a here's some shit I don't like about certain gamers, all right? <laughs> when, like, certain people were playing, doing Let's Plays of uh, Kakarot, they stopped after the first stage because the controls were shit. And the controls were shit on purpose because you're level one Saiyan Saga Goku. By the time you make it up to the Buu Saga, you play like a monster. Like, it feels different. It, feel, it almost feels like a different game, almost. Like, he's faster, he's stronger, he's doing more combos. The combos are just, you know... So Kakarot wasn't a bad game. Rough start, especially with the patches that they had to implement. I went through some shit. Trust me, I went through some shit. Terrible glitches, but it turned out to be a pretty decent game. Not a great game, but a decent game. The Breakers. 
I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> I didn't touch that shit. I wasn't interested in that shit. I tried the beta. I didn't like the way it felt. I didn't like the controls. It felt clunky to me. Um, I see people are still playing the game. But it's not a lot. It's really not a lot of people. People are still playing it, but it's not a lot of people. Let's be real here. Even fucking the uh, Dragon Ball game creators, the biggest ones, they're struggling to even like continue on with the game. It's just, it just wasn't it. And it wasn't meant to be it. It's literally a retooled Xenoverse engine. And it looks like shit, which I don't understand why they didn't just keep the same textures as Xenoverse 2. It just looks like a shittier Xenoverse game. It looks worse than Xenoverse 1, somehow. But fuck that shit. Here we are, Tenkaichi 4. This is going to be a banger. I hope. I hope this is going to be a banger. If I go back to play the old Tenkaichi games, I wonder if they're going to be as fun as I once remembered them being. I wonder if they are. Same with Rage and Blast 1 and 2. I wonder if they're going to be as fun as I once remembered them being. Because all in all, those games are actually simplistic. A lot. All, everyone plays exactly the same in those games, all right? I want to say Tenkaichi 3 was remembered more fondly because of their large roster. Like, when I always came to the discussion, it was always down to Booty Guy 3 and Tenkaichi 3. And I want to say, I like those both of those games equally, but for different reasons. I want to say, for complexity and gameplay sake, Booty Guy 3 was a more in-depth fighting game than other than a stupid fucking uh, luck-based system when you do your supers. I hated that shit. I think they got rid of that in Infinite World, so Infinite World might be the best Booty Guy game, period. I mean, the Shin Buddha Guy games are pretty balanced. Like, there's no luck-based mechanics at all in those games. All the supers are, uh, in what, what the fuck you call those? Um, not install supers. Utility supers, I think. Basically, there's no cutscene. Like, if you shoot a spare bomb, you're not gonna get a cutscene. You're throwing that shit mid-fight, you know? And I kind of respected them, because it takes skill to, like, just avoid it. You not have to rely on a cutscene just to fill up a meter or some shit. Whoever taps your stick harder, whoever tops it faster or harder, you know? Like, none of that weird shit. Whoever spins their stick faster, more times, whoever times... You know, this shit is stupid. Um, That could fuck up a fighting game, to be honest. That's one of the things that almost ruined the Kill a Kill fighting game for a lot of people. That stupid rock, paper, scissors shit. But... That's not much more I can say about this game because we don't really know much about it. All I can say is that the shit look good. So looks good. His hair is the same as Super Broly, I noticed. It's not like... It's not like bright blue. It's like regular blue. So this is like the Super Broly colors. You're trying to go for a Shintani, a Shintani type of look. I was about to say Shintani. That, that would have... I said it. That sounds nasty. Show me. Let me see them aura effects, though. See, he's going green and everything. This shit is super broly. Aura effects look crazy. I gotta give it a Jump Force. As ugly as the game as Jump Force was, you can't lie. Some of the special effects were fucking crazy, though. You can't lie. Some of the special effects with the particles weren't hard. So, if they could sort of tone it down slightly and look at, make, you know, look more anime instead of realistic, we got something crazy on our hands. Like, we're just seeing a transformation. Like, we don't even know what else, everything else is gonna look like. We didn't see it coming out of high yet. This model's pretty good. Alright, we can see the whole model. It's a good model. It's a good model. The hair's a little, uh... The hair's a little neat. I'm not trying to be too picky. The hair is like... Every Dragon Ball game, they always change Goku's hair. It's really weird. Like, on Xenoverse, his hair is really fucking tall and spiky. Like, look at Xenoverse Goku model, and then look at all the other games. Like, his hair looks fucking... Xenoverse is just an edgier look to Dragon Ball, period. This is this is good, though. This is good. I'm not even going to shit on this. This is... I, I have to see it in, in motion, you know? We, need, we definitely need more, but... I think it's not ugly. It's definitely a good-looking uh, Goku. Cell shaded. We already, you know, it's already going in a great direction. Cell shaded. Yeah, I'm ready. A lot of fucking particles. It's really reminded. Background and the particles are really reminding me of Jump Force, though. Like, the Goku model is great, but everything else... You know, One Punch Man was a cell shaded game, but the environment was realistic. Are they gonna do that here? As long as the game is good. I don't give a fuck, alright? As long as it's good. New, a new sparking begins. I'm ready. Spark. Spark this.